Our next presentation is from Marathon, Marathon Photos, Mr. Francis K. Good morning, friends. My theme for today is going the extra mile. In past presentations, I've spoken about a variety of photo products. I've spoken about our video, our video embedding. This next, next weekend um, at the Sydney Marathon, we are embedding the video into the sponsor's, main, um, into the sponsor's website for the ninth year. They keep coming back because this embedding the video creates one of the busiest days to their, for their website each year. I've also, I've also spoken um, in the past about our MyPace interactive dashboard that brings everything digital from an event, including personal photos and videos, into, into one dashboard. It is now mobile responsive. It can now be embedded into a web, um, into event website, and it can now be live. At the last Congress, I spoke about our Marathon Live project. We're continuing to develop this, this project and are starting to roll out at more, more events. All this, all, all this technology is, is cool. And whilst we're continuing to push the technology boundaries, what remains most important still is the runner's experience. This is where we put most of our energy to capture their achieve achievements. The runners deserve good photographs. A marathon runner will typically get 20 plus photographs from different positions on the course finish and after the finish. Excuse me. We, we strive to have video at, at, six, at least six positions. We also strive to have photos online from the day of the event. Those that have pre-purchased often will get the um, pre-purchased will get a text often before they finish the event where when they finish the event and they look at their phone, there's a text there and they can immediately share pictures we've already identified of them so far to um, social media. We want to give runners photos and videos and they want so they can purchase, and share, uh, purchase, download, print and share. Now something new. For, for organisers, going for the extra mile for the organisers. Bandits, they run the race, drink the drink, take the medal and pay nothing. This is a cost we know to organisers. We have now developed software that can identify different people wearing the same bib. And here is an example. <clears throat> this race, everyone had unique numbers. The person on the, I'll just get the pointer here, the person, the, the person, the third one from the top was the actual person um, um, that had the chip in the bib and all the other runners um, were copies of the bib. On close, closer look at each bib, some runners were so, um, so lazy they didn't even bother cutting the round corners of the bib and some didn't even bother punching the hole for the, for the pin. For sponsors, we, we have a new idea. I've noticed at, at, um, at a number of races, um, shoe, shoe sponsors um, will have, have people with, with a clipboard marking down um, the brands of shoes um, of, of runners that have finished. I wondered if there was a better way. And, and what, what we have um, developed is as a way where we can supply a shoe sponsor a picture of one picture of every runner's shoe. We would supply it in a file that doesn't identify the runner that the shoe shoes belong to, and with the approval of the organizer, we can supply the files along with gender 
and age categories. So a shoe sponsor can then analyse how, where their, uh, their brand, um, how their brand sits in the market, and they can even take it a step further for models of shoes. They can then f um, determine what age group is buying a particular model of, of their shoe. <coughs> now, for something completely different. <coughs> the Hong Kong Marathon, I come to the Hong Kong Marathon a couple of days um, before the event each year, and I stay, I stay in a hotel room that's 30 floors up that overlooks Victoria Park, which is the finish um, point of the marathon. And over the years, I've been noticing the, um, the marathon being built up, the finish line, the VIP areas, the athlete areas, the sponsor areas, all being built up um, over, over the couple of days before the event. And then on the day of the event, of course, the runners come in, but it precisely 1.15, suddenly the runners finish. It's like a tap has been turned off. It's because the police have opened the roads and no more runners can get into the park. But at that point, the whole place comes, comes to pieces. And by 7.30 that night, there is nothing left in the park. So I had this idea of why not doing a time-lapse photo. So I, I set up... I set up a camera and, and we took a picture every 48 seconds and then we turned it in, into, a mu um, into a movie. So I'm going to ask Marco now if he could just play the mu movie. Right, so this is, um, this is the day before and as you can see they're building up, building up the finish line. You can see they're putting the carpet down. And you can start seeing the shadows from the end of the day, from the um, um, from the you know the tall buildings coming over the park. You know it's still being built. You can see the carpet being put down. And then then night night time comes along. And it closes for the night, and then. And you can start seeing on the right hand bottom there, you can start seeing the spectators starting to arrive there. The 10k run comes in when it's still dark and you can see them coming in. And if you look up the back behind the finish line, you see all the gear trucks coming in and dropping off the gear. So, you see the person swashing is still on the line there. Um, <laughs> and, and now you can see how it's all coming Coming to get, um, coming to pieces, and it's just amazing. Um, all this, and it's starting to get dark, and it's coming to pieces, and and then later on, you start seeing the trucks kind of washing the um, washing the ground. This is it's about 7:30. The race only finished six hours beforehand. Now, I I did this. Um, <laughs> thank you. I, I did this as a, a bit of a fun fun thing to do, and I gave it to the organisers, and they have asked for it to be done again, because they can use this to show the government officials that they're out of the park by 7:30. So, um, so um, they find it a useful tool. <clears throat> um, just before I finish um, finish finish um, my presentation. Um, a number of you will know my girls here um, at a number of events, so they say hi to you. And um, that's the end of my presentation. I'm, I'm here, obviously, for the rest of the weekend, so um, I'm willing to take questions. Cheers. Bye-bye. <laughs>